Hello everyone. My name is David. I own a landscaping business here in Michigan. This is my first year in business. Haven't even made it one full year. Um, but as you can tell, it's snowing. We're preparing for the snow season. And I decided to buy a plow. It's for a 1500 Silverado. It's four wheel drive. Um, all the research I found on YouTube, everyone kept saying not to get a plow for your truck. Um, there were some uh, channels out there that suggested, hey, yeah, you can get a plow for a uh, 1500. Saw some good videos. But honestly, I went into it with not much information. A lot of research had to be done on my end. Anyway, I bought a Western Midweight plow. It's around 560 pounds. It's the steel one um, right here. I ended up upgrading to the LED light system for about $500. It is heated, so it keeps the ice off. Um, I've, I wanted to do the upgrade just because it it's brighter than the uh, normal lights. But anyway, this is the plow. It took a few hours to have someone put it on for me. The plow is either between this or a boss. And I ended up going with this for different reasons. Um, plus, I really like the person that service or put it on, the, the seller there. Um, I trust them. They do a great job with my, my vehicle. But anyway... Um, it's a pretty simple plow to put on and off. You just pull this. Anyways, you'll pull this when you're ready, put this down, and then push it. And basically, you do it to that end, unplug it, back up, and it comes off. But this is the pickup truck. Like I said, it's a 2015 Silverado. Four-wheel drive. I have a light up here. Um, I ended up buying that from Ballard, but I also got some sand. Um, let's see, they're 60 pounds each. Got five of them. Yeah, so let's go inside here. All right, sorry about that. I had to turn my Bluetooth off. But basically, this is the controller. When I'm not using it, I usually unplug it right there. I'll unplug it and then I'll put the controller under the seat, but it's real simple to use. You just raise it up. Left, right, real simple, down. And then I also got a the light from Ballard. Didn't want anything crazy, but basically you just flip it on right here. It's on, and then this one that toggles different switches or different light options. So you can do that or let's see. You can just mess around with them, switch them around. Real easy, simple. It'll get the job done this year. Um, I don't know if I'll end up getting another one. Um, but yeah, so basically, that's, that's the setup. LED lights. But yeah, that's the setup for this winter. Um, if I get anything new, I'll let you guys know or put it out there. I was looking at different salt spreaders, but made the decision not to go with a tailgate salt spreader this year just just because of um no real good reviews i looked at the salt dog it was about six hundred dollars a lot of people don't like it um they said there's a bunch of issues with it but if i do get one i'll let everyone know and we'll go through a, a review but as of right now i'm not gonna really uh hurry hurry up getting a uh, salt spreader if it's not gonna work. Um, I do have like a little uh, salt spreader that I can push around. I have one large property um, and I guess I'm just gonna walk it and spread it by hand, but that's what I have to do because I spent a good, good chunk of change on this plow here. So 
and my truck. I also got a leveling kit done on my truck. Bought it from Rough Country. Uh, it was a few hundred dollars, but basically it's the strut together with the leveling kit instead of buying the leveling kit to put on top of the strut. It's just all built in and um, it's raised my truck two and a half inches for the plow and it rides great. I, I, I don't notice a real big difference, but yeah, if you like this content so far, I know it's not much. Um, thumbs up, I guess. I don't even really care about that, but if it helps you, great. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments and I will answer them. Or if I get enough of those questions, I'll just make another video uh, of a more in-depth um, reason why I went with Western or whatever you want to know. I'll try to help you, but I'm new to this and um, I may have some information that's not true or who knows. But if, if I'm ever wrong about something, correct me. I don't care. But yeah, stay tuned for the next video. Thanks.